Hi folks, this is John with Remodeling Wizards of Maryland, and I'm here today to look at a bathroom that we just started to remodel, and we ran into an issue. The homeowner has asked us to take a four foot wide by three foot shower and turn it into a five foot by three foot shower. So let me just show you what's going on and uh, the issue that we ran into. I'll flip the camera around. Uh, over here, this is where the shower is. So the center, you can see where the center drain is. Um, I'll point to it so you can see what I'm talking about. This was the original shower drain. Uh, remember, I said this shower was four feet wide. So the center would be from this wall on the left to the center would be two feet. Now the homeowner wants us to make the shower wider. So instead of four foot wide, she wants to go out to five feet wide. Now, once we took everything out, we found that there's an issue, and this is something that's not going to be easy to do. Here's the reason why. If you take a look to the right side of that shower drain, you're gonna see a floor joist. And the reality is, in order to make this into a five foot shower, we need to move that drain to the right about six inches, it's actually gonna sit right on top of the floor joist. So in other words, we're gonna to have to cut a big notch out of that floor joist. That's a no-no. If we go ahead and do that, we're gonna weaken the floor joist. You're gonna put a heavy shower in here, somebody's gonna be standing in there, and they're gonna have a weak floor joist underneath them. So our recommendation is not to change this shower to a five foot wide shower. So right now the shower is four foot wide, and from front to back it's three feet, so four by three shower. What I would recommend is that we leave the drain approximately where it is and we go to a four by four shower. So the shower is gonna be bigger, but the drain movement will be from here into the, into the bay between the two floor joists towards me in order to get it centered. That's a safe way to do it. We're not touching the floor joists, you get a bigger shower. So that's something that you should be thinking about whenever uh, you're moving plumbing around. You need to know where the floor joists are, in particular for drains, because drains, you need a big hole for a drain through a floor joist, and it could weaken the floor joists. Thanks for listening.